What's going on YouTube? It's Jason again with JJ Drones and today we're at home and there's some things that need to be taken care of before we're able to go out and do anything fun. So Haley has assured me that if I'm able to get all of my chores done that I'll be able to go over to the park and do some more test flying with the Avada afterwards. But as for right now what we need to do is we need to get the lawn mowed because it is the first cut of the season and then we've got to open up the RV so that that thing can start airing out and then after that do the laundry and some dishes and then we can go out and fly the Avada but as for now let's get into the video okay guys so we're gonna get in the garage here and doing this one-handed so you have to forgive me for a minute. Okay, getting in the garage. We've got the lawnmower. And this thing's been sitting all winter long. And the first thing that you want to do when you pull out your lawnmower for the first time is we're going to check the oil levels. Make sure that that's good. Now, this one doesn't have a primer on it. So, but as you can see, our oil level is fine. Now this is just your run of the mill mulcher slash cutter. And I use premium unleaded because it's not supposed to have any sort of ethanol in it. So that gas should still be good. So let's see what happens. And there you have it. The lawnmower is now working and functional. And let's get this yard cut.
You gotta love spring, guys, because it's not too hot to go out here and cut the grass, but we got that done. And uh, I did notice while cutting the grass, look at these beautiful flowers we got growing here. Aren't those absolutely beautiful? Sometimes you just gotta stop and appreciate the little things in life. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna open up the trailer and we're gonna make the bed inside because we just got all of the bedding washed from last year. It, uh, you know, it's been sitting in the trailer for the entire winter, so it's good to wash those sheets and get them ready for uh, your next trip. So I'm gonna open up the RV right now and we're gonna make the bed and then uh, we'll start the laundry, get the dishes done, and then we'll see if we can get permission from Haley to go across the street and fly the Avada. Stay with me. Now this trailer has a 30 amp connection and as you can see, I have an adapter that goes on to the end of my extension cord that's called a wishbone and uh, that allows me to have 30 amp service on a 120 volt connection so we're just going to come over here and here's a little trick that i learned from watching some rv shows if you want to prevent any critters or insects or whatever going into your electrical outlet put some steel wool in there and that does work surprisingly okay we have our electrical connection set up let's open the slide probably the easiest part of my job today now before we make the bed I do want to show you an upgrade that we made on the trailer before we started this year's camping season so let me show you that right now we did always have theater seating in here before but we got this theater seating recliner off of Amazon now I did measure it and it is 67 inches across and this opening is 67 inches across so it is a tight fit and if uh, the outlets were actually on the side or on the cup holders it would probably work a heck of a lot better on us than it does but I just want to show you that we got uh, lights on there and it reclines by the push of a button. And I really like those blue lights. I I love blue lights. Don't I don't ask me why. They just they do something for me. So this also has uh, two cup holders. It's got a pouch here in the front. It's got another storage caddy there. It does have a Bluetooth speaker right there. So if you have a connection to any sort of uh, like uh, your phone or, or whatever, you can play music through the speakers that are right there on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug that. And the only thing that I don't like about this RV is that it doesn't have very many outlets. And so that is one thing that I would change the next time that we buy an RV. And we are looking for a fifth wheel now that we have the new truck. So uh, that's probably gonna be coming next year. But as for now, I'm gonna make the bed. So stay with me. And uh, if you're wondering about the Star Wars blanket, that's Haley's. And then uh, we have that homemade quilt that uh, I believe Haley's grandma made. 
Um, I could be wrong, but uh, I believe that's who gave us that one. And then I'm sure most of you have seen this already before, but this is the RV. It's a 2018 Springdale limited edition. And it's nothing, nothing super special about it other than the fact that it's ours. So, <laughs> and we enjoy using it. Um, so now we're gonna go in the house, get the laundry started, and then we will get uh, the dishes done. And then hopefully Haley will let me go out and fly. <music> started. So I've got all of those chores done. Now we're going to sweep the floor the JJ drones way. All done. All right, so now we're gonna go out and we're gonna get lunch for Haley and for me, but uh, Mainly, this was Haley's choice. got two sandwiches all set up for me and Haley for lunch and now we're gonna stop by the bank real quick and then uh, then we're gonna head home I'm gonna eat dinner and then hopefully all of my chores will be done and Haley will let me fly my drown hey baby girl I got my chores done. Yay! Can I go fly the Arvada? Of course. Yay! Mwah. I've also been very busy charging batteries because I'm going to be needing this equipment for the Trucker Championship coming up on Saturday. So we'll mention that here in just a little bit. So it's another windy day and uh, but at least today it is sunny out and every other time that I've done this it's been super cloudy so and I am so glad that I'm able to go do this right now so let's get the Avada hooked up and ready to fly and then check out this video
it's Ted from Off the Hook Outdoors uh, giving us a call. How are you doing, Ted? Yeah, man, you got to uh, go watch Jason's channel. Um, he has a lot of great tutorials, especially if you're into droning. Um, he shows you how to operate all these high-tech uh, machines here in the air. So I would definitely go check his uh, videos out. I don't even have a drone, and I watch it, so that tells you how good they are. Uh, I will be getting a drone soon, hopefully, with JJ's help. But if you have any questions or anything, please, Jason is the man to uh, call. I'm sure he's going to have his email address and all his contact information in the video. So go check him out. Jason's a great friend of mine. He's helped me a ton with my channel and my content and all the technical aspects of my channel. Jason has been very involved with that. So uh, thanks, Jason, for doing that. And you guys are missing out. If you do, don't include Jason in your uh, arsenal. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. I got my practice in with the Avada. I keep getting better every time that I fly it. At least I think so. Eventually, I want to go into full manual mode. And uh, I think the day that I do that, I'd like to do that with Dan, the droning veteran, because uh, he hasn't done it yet. So I'd like to do that at the same time that he does. But thank you so much for coming and spending this day with me. Uh, this is just a, basically a typical day for me try and get as much done as I can around the house and uh, we're going to be in uh, Appleton Wisconsin at the truck driver championship this weekend on Saturday it's going to be from 7 a.m. until probably around 5 in the afternoon so um, it's over there at uh, Fox Valley Technical College in Appleton Wisconsin and if you would like to join us uh, Stormy Sky Rail Productions is going to be there Carl Marx may be there and he's going to be giving kisses on the cheek, so <laughs> make sure that you show up for that. But if you enjoy this kind of content, I mean, it's just a, it's just a daily life of me. Um, it's just like a regular day for me, and it's, uh, you know, vlog type thing. So, but if you do enjoy this content, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you can be notified the next time I put one of my videos up on YouTube. But I appreciate you for coming along for this ride with me, and we'll see you later on down the road. Bye, everybody.